Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to do yet another one brand makeup tutorial but this time I'm going to feature W7 makeup products. Some of them I tried and love and some of them will be a first impression. W7 brand is an affordable UK makeup brand and known to do well-known makeup brands such as Too Faced and Benefit. Here in Australia, the only shop that sells them is Famous Warehouse. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start with my brows today. I have W7 Brow Parlor. It has brow wax, highlighter powder, two brow powders, mini tweezers, angle brush, and brow comb. Let's start with the wax. And then the brow powder, I'm going to use the darker shade. It's very difficult to apply. It's not pigmented and it has the reddish tone that I don't like. I'm going to use this concealer to clean my eyebrows and as my eyeshadow base. This is the W7 Safe by the Gel Concealer. For my eyeshadow, I have W7 Life's a Peach. So this is what it looks like inside. It has a brush which I will try to use later. I'm going to use the shade Sweet Temptation as my transition shade. The next shade I'm going to use is Peach Please. I'm going to apply it on my crease area. Next shade is Pure Pleasure. I'm going to apply it all over my lid. Then blend. Colors are not pigmented but they're buildable. And on the other side, I'm going to pack it again. I heard that it's a dupe for a Too Faced eyeshadow palette, but I don't own one so I can't compare it. It's easy to blend, a bit powdery, um, it's not pigmented, but it's buildable. Next one is eyeliner. I have W7 Eye Eye Captain. It has a brush tip. The formula is very wet, so I have to let it dry first and see. It 
it's very black but I still prefer the pen type eyeliners because it's much easier to use. I don't have W7 eyelashes so I'm going to apply this off camera and I'll be back. Let's continue with the eyes later and now for my primer I have W7 Prime Magic. It says it reduces the appearance of pores and fine lines making the complexion smooth and flawless. Let's see if it reduces the appearance of my pores. I think it reduces it a little bit. Look at this side and that side. The pores is more visible here than here. For my foundation, I have Genius Feather Light Foundation. It says on their website, The smartest foundation ever, our water light foundation applies like a liquid and dries to a powder finish. Genius Foundation provides light to medium coverage and sets to a matte. Natural looking finish for smooth, flawless complexion. Unfortunately, they don't have that much shades. So it doesn't cater for everyone. The packaging is glass bottle and it has a dropper. Uh, by the way, the shade is fresh beige. As you can see, it has medium coverage. It's pretty easy to blend and it has matte finish. I'm going to use the W7 Save by the Gel Concealer again. Um, it has pink undertone. I prefer yellow ones. But the next shade to it is a bit dark, so I got this shade. It has very light coverage, but it's easy to blend. To set everything up, I'm going to use W7 Banana Dreams. I tried this before. In fact, this is one of my favorite powders. Now to finish the eyes, I'm going to apply the shade Sweet Temptation again on my lower lash line. And then the shade Peach Please again on my lower lash line. Then lastly, the shade Pure Pleasure. I'm going to apply it very close to my lash line. Then to highlight my brow bone and inner corner, I'm going to use the shade Cream. Then for my mascara, I have W7 Absolute Lashes. I'm going to apply it on my upper and lower lashes. As 
you can see, it lengthened my lower lashes. For my bronzer, I have W7 Bronze Diva. I'm going to use this lighter side for my bronzer and the darker side I'm going to use for my contour. just gave a glow it didn't really gave any color so I'm going to use the darker side I'm going to combine the two shades for my nose contour. It's not that pigmented but it's very easy to blend and I don't think it will show up on darker skin tone. For my blush, I have W7 Duo Blush. I'm going to use this coral shade. Again, it's not pigmented, but it's buildable. For my highlighter, I have W7 Glocomotion. I already have this in my collection and it's one of my favorite because it's very blinding and wet looking. I'm going to apply this on my inner corner as well just to make it pop a little bit more and my brow bone area. Lastly for my lips, I have W7 Nude Kiss Lipstick. It's in the shade Nude Kiss. I already have this lipstick in my collection. It's a satin finish and it's very creamy. So here's the finished look. All in all, the products are really good and some of them are my favorites already. The only product that I don't care for is the brow product. As I've said, it's not pigmented and it's difficult to apply. The eyeshadow, the foundation is really good. The primer works and the bronzer works for me as well. So that's it. Thank you for being here today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And to get notified whenever I upload new video, please hit that bell button as well. See you in my next video. Bye!